This is just a quick little uh, clip to show you what the up to face option is when you're padding things in FreeCAD. So I've got this shape here that I've made up. Let's say we were making, I don't know, a carburetor or something. We've got this pipe that goes through a block that's going to mount on something, whatever. Um, and I want to have this sort of a half moon shape that comes up and joins up with the pipe here that I'm going to put maybe a, a vent hole in or something. Who knows? Um, I could pad this and it disappears because we're padding out into open air. You can't have more than one solid. Uh, so I'm going to reverse the direction there. So we're padding this towards the pipe. Now if I increase that distance to where it joins up with the pipe, let's make it uh, 25 millimeters. And that's what I want. I want this to join up with the pipe like this. And that looks good. That's what I want, right? Except it padded right up into the pipe. We don't want that. So let's do this again. We'll take this sketch and we'll pad it. And I'll reverse the direction. But what I want to do is I want it to come up to just this outer face of the pipe all the way around. So I'm going to come up here to dimension, say up to face, select face on the model. I'll select the pipe. And there we go. Just like before, it has come up and it has joined up with the surface of the pipe, except now it doesn't go into it because it only went up to this face on the model. So that's how up to face can be useful if you have odd geometry where you have to accomplish something like this but not have it go into the pipe. That's where up to face is useful. So I thought that was pretty interesting.